Are you looking for the best 3D printers for jewelry making and amp casting? In this video, we will look at some of the four best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Frozen Sonic Mini 8K. Easily the best 3D printer out there for making jewelry at a consumer level is the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K. Frozen shows up on this list a few times, and the only reason I can give for this is that their team is insanely good at making high-detail 3D printers. The Frozen Sonic Mini 8K is built around its crown jewel, an 8K monochrome LCD screen. This part makes the machine capable of printing models with 8K pixel resolution, which means prints can have a ton of detail. If this doesn't spark your interest, then I don't know what will, just look at the prints made by this machine, on top of the high LCD resolution of the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K, the printer also brings a terrific X-Y printing resolution of just 22M, or 0.022mm. This is about as precise as you can get today, and, for reference, the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K has a precision of only 35M, not as good. Sadly, the price you pay for this incredible print quality comes in the form of print space. Moreover, as indicated by the Mini in the name, the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K has a relatively small build space of only 165 by 72 by 180 mm While this limits you to printing only small models, it shouldn't be a problem for making jewelry. So, if you want an overall beast of a resin 3D printer that can make jewelry pieces more detailed than your wildest dreams, I strongly recommend the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K. At Number 2. Frozen Sonic Mini 4K. If you want exceptional print quality without breaking the bank then the new and improved Frozen Sonic Mini 4K is for you. Compared to other affordable resin 3D printers like the Anycubic Photon S and Elegoo Mars 2 Pro, we found the printing quality superior in the former. The XY layer resolution of the Mini 4K is 35 microns versus the 50 microns of those two printers. As you know, in the world of television and mobile phones, 4K screens produce high-quality images. Similarly, thanks to the 4K LCD screen with the Mini 4K, you'll get a better print resolution. In all fairness, the differences between prints from the three printers weren't pronounced. But in detail-packed jewelry, you'll notice the power of the 4K LCD. The Sonic Mini 4K also prints faster, one layer in two seconds fast, although the newer models of the Photon and Mars are keeping up. If you want a beginner-friendly resin 3D printer for jewelry, then the Mini 4K is for you. It's that easy to use. Just plug in, level, and start printing. The default settings in Chittabox work without any adjustments although you'll have to tweak it for certain designs. In terms of printer noise, the Sonic Mini 4K is a bit noisier than the original Sonic Mini. The noise mainly comes from Mini Z-axis stepper motor during the changing of layers. All in all, for 3D printing jewelry and miniatures you can't go wrong with the Sonic Mini 4K. It excels where print details are a must. At Number 3. Elegoo Saturn 28K. Another 8K printer on this list is the Elegoo Saturn 28K, which, in my opinion, is the best bang for your buck when it comes to printing high-detail jewelry. The Saturn II is made by Elegoo, one of the most popular manufacturers of budget-friendly resin 3D printers. And the Saturn II definitely is budget-friendly, offering 8K printing capabilities for less than $600. As an 8K 3D printer, the Elegoo Saturn II uses an 8K pixel resolution LCD screen that allows for very high detail prints. And parts are very precise because the Elegoo Saturn II has an X-Y resolution of 28.5 microns. This isn't as good as the Formlabs Form 3 Plus or Frozen Sonic Mini 8K, but it's still very precise and a great deal considering the price of the Saturn II. With the Saturn II, you can make some super detailed 8K resolution prints, like the one seen below, plus, the Saturn II gives you a decent amount of print space, totaling 219 by 123 250mm. This is more than enough for typical jewelry prints and will allow you to print multiple rings or necklace pendants at once, no problem. Another thing I love about the Elegoo Saturn II is the print speed, up to 70 mm per hour. This is very fast and means you can pump out more jewelry projects compared to other printers, which typically have a max speed of 40 to 60 mm/hour. 
So, if you want to print large without sacrificing print quality or detail, the Elegoo Saturn 28K is the perfect option. And it won't break the bank. At number 4. Creality Ender 3 Pro. For a couple of hundred bucks, you can start learning how to make custom jewelry. The Creality Ender 3 Pro is not the most polished or glamorous printer, but it's a workhorse. A lot of people consider it the best FDM 3D printer for jewelry in its price category, myself included. What you get are reasonably accurate and quality prints for a non-resin 3D printer. You can start learning the process and experimenting without breaking the bank. If you're not comfortable investing thousands into a 3D printer, the Creality Ender 3 Pro gives you the option to start small and see how passionate you are about the space. Unlike the rest of the 3D printers in this list, since this is an FDM 3D printer you're not pigeonholed to just using resins. Sure, it's not the best 3D printing tech for making jewelry, but it can do a ton of other stuff. You can enjoy the full range of freedom that comes with having an FDM printer. That said, FDM 3D printers print quality is noticeably less smooth and accurate than their resin 3D printer counterparts. Admittedly, sometimes I break things just so I can 3D print replacements, and that's something you can't do with an SLA 3D printer.